Hey and welcome back. So once a user is logged in, we want to display their avatar and name and such. And we also want to give them the ability to update those things. So let's work on getting the user data and updating it. And before we start, there are a few mistakes that I made. And it's in the forgot function. And right here in this if statement, it should return a status of 400 instead of 200. And also down in the success section, this should be a status of 200 instead of 500. And I need to put a C right here. All right, cool. Let's give that a quick save. All right, now I will collapse the forgot function. And also the reset. Now we want to get the user info. So I will say info async request response. Try catch. Displace the error. Status 500. JSON message of the error. All right, now to our try block. So now we want to get the info. So get info, but minus the password because we can display their avatar and name, but we don't want to display the password. Now let's say const user await, and we will find one in our database. So find by ID. And then it's going to be in the request user ID. And then we want to select everything except the password. So we get this user ID in our middleware of auth. So if the middleware fires successfully, it will return us a user. And that's how we got the user ID right here, because we will use a middleware for this route where we get the user info. All right. If everything is good, we want to return the user so response status 200 and then we will just return the user give this a quick save and then navigate to our user routes and this time we're going to say route.get because we're going to get something and that would be the user data so forward slash api forward slash auth forward slash user and then we will use our middleware and then our user controller and it will be info now give that a quick save all right now let's open up postman now let's add a new request and then it will be user info it will be a get request and then to this endpoint and now click headers and then authorization now we need our access token. So first let's sign in. And then get the access token. Copy it. And now back to user info and paste that in. Now let's click send. And I forgot the zero right here. I will click send again. And here's my user info. All right, now let's jump back into VS Code and work on our updating function. Now let's jump into our user controller. And then I will collapse this and say update, async, request response, try catch. Display the error. So in this update function, we will let the user update their name and avatar. And if they want to update their password, we will use the reset password function that we already wrote. All right. So first thing we want to get the info of what the user wants to update and then actually updating it. And then if everything goes right, then that means everything was a success. All right. Get info. So let's say cons name. And then avatar, it will be in the request.body. Now let's update it. Let's say await user find one and update. First, we will find one by the ID. So underscore ID request user ID 
and then we want to update either their name or avatar and then if everything was a success we want to respond a status of 200 and a JSON message saying update success give this a quick save and let's go to our user routes and then this time we will say route.patch so we can use patch to update a piece of data and the route will be forward slash api auth forward slash user underscore update once again we will use our middleware so auth and then our user controller and then update now give this a quick save and let's navigate to postman i will save this request first so command s now let's add a new request Let's call it user update and then it will be a patch request and then to this endpoint. Next, let's go to headers and then pass in our access token. So we got that a few minutes ago and it is still valid. So let's copy it. Go back here and then paste it in. Next, let's go to body and then raw and then JSON format. First, let's update our name. So I will say user change. We will return to updating our avatar in the future lesson. So now let's just click send and see what happened. All right, update was success. Now let's check out our database and here's my new name. So that means everything was a success and this also wrap up the lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.